Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to apply a painted look effect uh, to a picture. We are going to start using this picture and by the end of the tutorial we are going to uh, um, achieve this result. So this is before and this is after. Let's start. We have this picture of this girl. I took it from Pixabay, it's free. I'll uh, put a link in the description below so you can use it to play with this effect. Anyway, you can choose your own photo, of course. Let's start. Because she has her uh, hands already cut by the uh, creator of this photo, I'm going to use the crop tool, this one from here, or press C, and I will crop the image even more say something like that all right now let's uh, call this one original and uh, let's start we duplicate this layer by dragging it all the way down to the new layer icon and it does a copy all right now go to filter stylize and choose oil paint. Let's see her face. Drag with the mouse to see her face better. Okay. I don't want to do uh, too much damage at this point. Let's keep it like that. All right. Now let's. Uh, duplicate this layer again, Ctrl J, or you can drag it all the way down. All right. Now let's apply the same effect, but now we're going to drag the stylization more to the right. Okay. Having this done, let's make this let's make a sorry let's make a layer mask let's add a layer mask to hide the uh, part of the second effect yeah Ch take the brush tool be sure that you have black here selected and now be sure that you are here on the mask and start to draw on top of her face all right good as you can see the difference is now I'm going to hide by pressing shift and click here with the mouse as you can see it looks better like that now zoom in go to the layer beneath take the smudge tool and we want to make this uh, part of her head and um, let's see now the hands look okay the arms look okay maybe a bit of the neck and the chest all right, so let's play a bit with the smudge. Take the smudge tool from here, yeah? All right. And now just brush on top of her face. As as you can see, it cleans the face. Don't go too much, too more, too much, sorry. Don't go too much and don't drag uh too much to the left or right. If you do that, it will dramatically change her face. So be sure that you are not over brush it. And always draw in the same direction as the lines on her face. It looks like you are drawing her. Okay, I think it looks better now. Let's move on. Let's add some dodge and burn on her body. Create a new layer. Create a new layer by uh, selecting from here and put it to overlay and fill it with 50% gray. 
let's call this one dodge and burn now take the burn tool and uh, go on top of the darker parts of her hair Take the dodge toe and now go on the lighter parts of her hair. With, without. Let's use also dodge and burn on her body a bit, but not too much. Uh, let's start with burn. Make this uh, bigger and um, choose exposure to, I don't know, 5 ok, now choose uh, dodge ok, so let's zoom in, zoom out, sorry this is without, this is with, I think it looks nice now, we are going forward by adding an iris blur effect we want to merge all those layers into one layer so we do that by holding ctrl alt shift and i so what this does is merging all the layers that uh, we uh, use until now in one layer but we can keep our previous layers now let's go to filter blur gallery and choose iris blur as you can see we can rotate this and move it to the right ok you can play with this the way you want but I prefer not to have a lot of blur you can uh, make this bigger and um, drag those blue points up so you can have the blur more to the sides not on her face or hair okay I think we're good hit ok hit enter sorry this happened okay now we move we move on by adding uh, some adjustment layers and you can find the adjustment layers here and you can play with them uh, you can choose levels for example you can choose uh, curves and uh, a lot of other uh, color um, adjustments we can choose this one play with all the colors that are in the image but not too much we can choose um, also um, hue and saturation yeah so we can do that and we have this result or other results if you spend a lot of time you can uh, reach other uh, adjustment layers other effects so we delete them and uh, I want to choose one that uh, I have here on the color color lookup which is a preset done by using adjustment layers i will put the uh, this uh, a link to the color lookup that i use it is called um, aspen as you can see it does a really really nice job we can achieve the same uh, adjustment layer but it will take us uh, some time so because I have it here it's easier to use it and now uh, I want to add some sharpness to my image because uh, by using all those oil paints effects it's and blur I think it needs some uh, sharpness so we are going to merge everything again into a new layer go to filter sharpen 
and we can use Unsharp Mask. Okay, as you can see, it looks really nice. Um, now, if you want more sharpness, you can use also the Smart Sharpen and it adds even more sharpness. I think it's too much, so I'll reduce the opacity to 30%, something around that. Yeah, so this is really great. Now, let's um, apply some color corrections or effects actually. You can uh, create a new layer, put it on uh, choose screen and now let's choose some blue. Take the brush tool and draw with the brush outside the girl. You can go a bit on her hair. Take the change between the colors here so we can keep this blue one. And let's take, I don't know, something, something like that. And we'll draw on the other side of the picture. Of course it's too much, the colors are too much now and of course we can choose the opacity to reduce the opacity to the way we want to use it. So I think now it looks really great. Now let's add some text upon the upon everything that we did until now. So choose the text tool and write let's say fashion. Make this bigger and it already looks nice. All right. I think I like it like that. You can play with the text also, you can make it white. It looks really nice on white also. We can add some um, shadows. B, uh, you, you can uh, choose the color of the shadow, something similar to the background. Don't choose black because it's too much, it's not really uh, matching anything on our picture. So you can choose even the blue-ish color from here or any other uh, reddish color from her body or hair. Um, you can stroke this one, you can uh, change the color to red, black and also a color from her hair. Um, Another thing that I want to teach you is working with those blending uh, the opacities from here. If you choose to reduce the opacity and lower this one, what it does, everything that uh, we have, including the um, layer styles that we use, will go opaque. But if you drag this one, fill opacity from the advanced blending, it will make opaque a, uh, only the text color, but not the uh, effects that we choose. So it will keep the stroke, it will keep the drop shadow. So if you deselect stroke, it will keep only the shadow. If you deselect the shadow, everything will be gone. So I think this looks nice like that. So another thing that I want to show you really fast because that wasn't the purpose of the today's tutorial, is um, using the underlying layer. What this does, it will hide some parts of this layer with some parts of the underneath layer. So if you are dragging this to the right, as you can see, it starts to hide parts of my top layer with parts of the layer underneath. Now it's up to you if you want to keep more of the text or more of the background. I think we can find a good balance by moving the text around. Yeah, I think it looks great. Okay. Let's see our result. Let's group everything in, into one group. So hold shift, select the first layer and while you are holding shift, 
click on every layers from the right end press this one which is a a group it makes a group and now hide this one and look on our result i think it looks really really nice uh, let's add now let's hide the text one let's merge everything i think it needs a bit of sharpness even more let's add um smart sharpen okay and now let's put the text back so this is the final result let's compare it with the original photo the original and now with our creation so this was the tutorial from today i hope you like it if you do please subscribe to my channel see you next time